Hi, my name is Jerry Croft. I'm a professor in California. Uh, this is a very interesting story. Way back in 1872, an archaeologist named Wayman Dixon went to Egypt. And they let him into the Great Pyramid and let him do a, whatever he wanted in those days. And he took out a ball, some kind of a tool, and some wooden fragments, cedar wood fragments, took them back to the University of Aberdeen, and they sat in a drawer for uh, over a century. In 2020, two guys decided, let's radiocarbon date that wood. The wood was dated from 3340 to 3094 BC, with a probability of 94% that data was correct. That actually is very big news. That means the Great Pyramid was built 500 to 700 years earlier than we thought. Now, here, these are all the Egyptian dynasties for 3,000 years. The beginning, all the way to the end with Cleopatra. So when was the Great Pyramid built? Well, uh, conventional archaeology says right there, all right, the Pharaoh Khufu built the pyramid. Now, there were hieroglyphs during Khufu's time, but there are no hieroglyphs in the Great Pyramid. No bodies either. But they said that was he built it. All right, fine. But this new discovery puts the date over here. That's 3100 BC. That's before everything. That's before the pharaohs. That's before hieroglyphs. That's before Egyptian society even got started. What? But if the Great Pyramid was built 700 years before Khufu, and even before the start of Egyptian civilization, then what? Wow, there's a lot of math in the Great Pyramid. There's pi, there's phi, there's the golden section, there's astronomical knowledge. Where did it come from? Where did the math come from if there were no hieroglyphics, no writing, no schematics? The mainstream rebuttal is that they use 760-year-old wood. Really? Are you kidding me? Under Khufu? Well, uh, this is a very interesting story. It has huge implications. And so take a look at the full video. It's called Look for, in YouTube for Croth Dixon Relics. Okay? Thanks for watching.